What's up guys and welcome back to my youtube channel uh, in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to clean uh, your computer you're going to clear up uh, a computer cache and uh, you're going to get rid of the uh, uh, file junks that uh, maybe slow down your computer so in order to make your computer uh, fast and uh, more efficient you need to uh, from time to time clean up some files so i have a file a txt file here so we're going to go through the first three are uh, uh, some folders that are normally located inside uh, your computer system where you have installed your uh, windows system so uh, in most cases you find that uh, most apl uh, computer applications store or dump their junk files in the, inside these uh, folders so it's good to normally clear or uh, clean up some uh, these folders so and then last we're going to do some uh, system uh, cleanup so uh, so the first thing that you're going to do you are going to access this uh, prefetch folder and then uh, delete everything that is inside there and in order to uh, find the prefetch uh, <coughs> at the bottom uh, bottom left corner of your screen at the taskbar uh, right click on the windows icon like so and then click run so another way you can open the run window is by pressing down the windows key and then uh, click the r r key <coughs> so while here just type in uh, uh, prefetch like so and then uh, hit enter or click ok and then it's going to take you directly inside that uh, particular folder and as you can see it's located inside the uh, local disk key c so another way you can arrive here is by opening uh, the Windows Explorer and then go to local disk C, uh, go to Windows and then uh, look for the prefetch folder and uh, it's right here. So double click on it to open. So what you're going to do, uh, click on any file and then uh, press down control and then A. Uh, that is just to select everything or you can just drag to click and drag to select everything and then click click the shift key press down the shift key and uh, hit the delete so that's the another way to permanently de permanently delete uh, the folder that you have selected or the file that you have selected so uh, hit enter uh, to accept so now you have deleted permanently everything that uh, was contained in this uh, prefetch folder so those are just uh, junk files that have been dumped inside there so it's safe to delete them so number two uh, let's uh, close that down number two we say that we're going to uh, temp file <coughs> temp file again you can just <coughs> access it by via the windows explorer click on uh, open windows explorer go to where you have installed your computer system and uh, mine is in local disk c double click on it open the windows folder and then if you scroll down you'll be able to locate or see the you should be able to see the temp folder this one here so double click on it so we said another way you can do that is by uh, uh, going uh, place your cursor on the windows icon at the bottom left corner of your screen right click on it and then click uh, run and then uh, quickly type type the folder name that is temp and then click ok so just like that it's going to take you directly inside that uh, particular folder and then you can see i have a lot of uh, junk files in here and it's been slowing down my computer so i'm going to click just uh, click to highlight any of the files you can click any of the folders and then uh, click uh, press down control and then click a to select or you can just simply click the first uh, folder or the first file and then scroll down to the bottom of the uh, uh, the files and then press down shift and then left click to select everything now after you have selected everything uh, it's time to delete we said uh, to, in order to delete permanently press down shift and hit delete like so and you can see that uh, 120 files or items are going to be deleted uh, click yes 
so it's going it's telling me that uh, just uh, click uh, continue and then give it time and uh, it's okay that uh, some files are not going to be uh, deleted because uh, currently they are, they are being used by uh, some computer applications so uh, check this do this for all current items and then uh, try again uh, he said we said uh, do that and then skip not try again skip uh, now you can close down that uh, particular folder and then the third one is this one percentage percentage sign temp percentage sign so this one uh, <coughs> let me show you how you can access without uh, the uh, run key window and then you can also see how you can find that using the uh, run window so open the uh, windows explorer go to uh, local disk c and then go to users uh, click and then double click on the on your uh, the folder that contains your computer name uh, mine is here uh, that says john o double click on it and then uh, at the uh, top of this uh, windows explorer you sh uh, should be able to see these uh, four tabs uh, currently you are under a file tab then there's this home that's share what you want is view so make sure that you click on view on view tab and then you'll be able to under the show hide show and hide uh, group uh, make sure that that you check these uh, hidden items and uh, immediately you say the you'll see that uh, now we have some uh, new uh, files or uh, uh, folders like this app data so app data is where we uh, we want to or it's where the the percentage temp uh, folder is located so double click on it then uh, double click on local it is located inside this local folder and then uh, we'll find this uh, temp folder double click on it then you can select highlight and de delete so before i delete let me show you again how you can access that uh, from let us first of all hide uh, everything that we so click view and then uh, uncheck the hidden items go back so uh, go back to the windows icon at the bottom left corner of the screen right click and then click run uh, and then on the search tab the, just type in uh, uh, press down shift and then uh, fi five key that is to uh, insert the percentage sign and then uh, type in uh, temp and then again press down shift five to insert the percentage sign and then click ok uh, it's going to take you directly inside that particular folder and then uh, click the first one scroll down to the bottom uh, press down shift you can see that i have a lot of uh, junk files in inside this folder press down shift and uh, click that uh, particular left click on the last one so we said another way to do that is to uh, press down a control key and then uh, hit a so you that is to select everything you are going to select uh, everything inside that uh, folder and then shift hit delete key to delete everything click yes to delete you can see it's uh, quite now uh, you need to provide them click ok uh, continue and depending on the size of this uh, data it's going to take uh, quite some time so just give it some time to complete then just like before uh, some files are being uh, used currently by some software applications so you didn't it's okay you, you don't need to delete them just make sure that you check this do this for all current items and then skip 
Ajá. Skip. Now that we are done uh, deleting the files inside that particular folder, just go ahead and close down that folder. Now it's time to do some system cleanup. So uh, what we're going to do, we are going to again run, open the run window, uh, just press down the windows key and then uh, press R to open or just right click on windows icon, click run. So we are going to type in uh, uh, the following command clean mgr not mrg mgr click ok so uh, click accept ok also uh, okay uh, let's do this again just uh, check everything uh, make sure that we've checked everything and then click ok uh, so are you sure you want to permanently delete these files yes So guys the cleanup is done and uh, that's how uh, you can that's the method that you can use to clean up your computer so uh, i hope you find this uh, tutorial enjoyable uh, until next time uh, see you